Andrea Stevenson uh, here with Sport Quest tying some more bonefish flies for the bonefish series. So this one is a little bit more complex than the other ones that we've tied, but it's a really nice fly uh, to have a go at. Um, so we're going to tie a, uh, a spawning mantis shrimp or spawning shrimp, um, a variant on that. There's um, many different ways of tying it, uh, little tweaks you can make, so make it your own. Um, there's quite a few <coughs> different materials um, used in this fly, so rather than boring you all with a list of it now, we'll talk about them as we go through them and we'll pop a, a list of materials um, underneath the video. Okay, so starting up we're going to use a decent saltwater hook. I'm going to go with the Partridge CS120 wide gape in a size 1. Grab that out, I've got one here. So I'm going to use some orange uh, nano silk. I think I've said this before, but I really like orange in my bonefish flies. Um, so orange silk is where we're, or orange uh, GSP is where we're going with. Okay, take that down to the bend. So we're going to take it so it's just going around the bend. Okay. Um, so on the top of the hook, um, first out, we're going to go with a little bit of what I've got here is some, um, it's called predator fibre, just a bit of brown predator fibre or anything similar. It doesn't have to be exactly this. Could do with some scissors that are sharp. Um, so something just to make kind of like the feelers of the, of the shrimp. So you're going to pop that on the end of the hook here so it's um, caught in just as it goes up the, the shank. So rather than having it straight out, we're going to have it at a bit of an angle. And pop that in place, pull the wraps over that and cut off the excess. Okay. So we're going to flip the flap the other way around and um, we need a similar things. So some more pro fibre, but this time in orange. So a nice bright colour here. So some orange predator fibre. Um, what you want to do is make a little chunk of it. So what I tend to do is fold it in half, fold it in half again and cut. Off there. You don't need a taper, you can have it fairly closely cut. I tend to just, just pull it a few out so it's not like a complete neat, neat cutting. And that's going to go fairly short, but on top of the, um, the brown press fibre we've already put in there. So that's going on top. Tie that in place and then cut off the excess. Oh, fiddly bit there. Tidy up. Okay. Good. Now I tend to now like to put in some sparkly bits and some um, legs. So I'm going to go with some of these fire tip silly legs. So we just want uh, two each side. You can even do one each side, whatever you feel. Oh, I can't get hold of them. So I'm going to cut them so I've got just the orange on the tips. Okay. And then catching them in just on top so they kind of sit over the orange that we've put in there. Pop those around the other side. 
side. Okay. Lovely job. Okay, and then a little bit of um, Venue Crystal Flash. I've got this in UV Herring Black. And again, you only want um, a couple of pieces, one or two, depending on how, how much flash you actually want in the fly. Some people prefer one, some people prefer two, some people prefer none. So again, catch that in. And try and sit that on top. And secure down. Okay, and then cut that to your desired length. So now we need to put some eyes in and there are these easy shrimp eyes which I think you can get from Vineyard. Um, you can get them in various colours so fluorescent orange, there's some black, there's red. I really like these orange ones. Okay so you see they're already made. Um, pop them on top so they sit up just beyond the hook bend. Okay. Secure that in and then wrap it all the way down. So I need to bring that back a bit because I need to make some space for my eyes to go in. So snip off a little bit of the excess. Okay. And that's caused a little bit of a ridge there, obviously. And that's caused a nice taper also to the body. So before we do any more we're just going to stick our eyes in. So you need some dumbbell eyes which have rolled away. Oh, yeah. Okay just some dumbbell eyes of desired weight. Um, pop them behind that ridge you've just created and we're going to tie in a figure of eight. So over the top, underneath and over the, the other direction. So we're going to put in a few wraps of that so it's all going to sit nice and securely so you don't want these twisting round. Give that a good pull down and there's some uh, round wraps so they go under the eye, over the top of the shank, under the eye, over the top of the shank. So you're kind of going around and it's pulling all the, the, uh, the thread wraps together and hold that in. A, Nice and tight, lovely. Okay, so take this all the way back up to uh, to the bend, or just before, just underneath the hook point. And then we're gonna put a body in. Okay, and what we wanna do now, I've got some simplified dirty bug yarn. I quite like this stuff, because it's already ready. It's already got a bit of bugginess about it. I've got this in like a, a shrimp colour but you can do tan or brown or whatever suits you so just wrapping it in there securing that all the way back down okay and then we can build a body so you can make it a bit chunkier at the end here I mean you've also already got some natural uh, natural taper with what we've already tied together but I tend to like to do a big chunky bit there. And then slowly bring it down, touching turns all the way to here. And then wrap off, pull back, some securing threads over the top of that. And then that's done. Okay. So the last part is to make the shrimpy body. You've come on the wrong side there, haven't you? Naughty, naughty leg. 
Okay, um, so with this you can get some ready-made brushes um, if you want to use them, so you can just secure it in, wrap it around, it's done. Um, I'd like to make things more difficult for myself, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. So I've got a bit of fox here in, um, I think this is called sand or stone. Um, so I'm going to cut off a chunk of that. Just brush out some of the endy bits. So I want it to be roughly there. So I'm going to cut that short. Wax my thread. I'm going to make a dubbing loop. over the top, just around and back over, bring that in front of the eye just to keep it out of the way, then we're going to catch that in and spread your fibres out nice and, nice and spread out so it's not too chunky in one place. I'm just going to cut those shorter, nice and, nice and neat on this side. And then spin. Okay, so just folding that down one way. I'm just going to wrap that around, around to make a nice collar. the excess there and just tidy up a bit so tidy up the nose put a couple of wraps around the base here behind the eyes and then back to the nose just to tidy up and then whip finish off Little bit of varnish just to hold it all in place and secure those wraps down. You might want to put a little bit of UV on top of it just to bonefish proof it a little bit. And there we go. That is your um, spawning mantis shrimp. Thanks for watching. See you next time.